Well, hello there, everybody. Jairs here. Welcome back to another edition here of uh, Supermarket Simulator. And we are going to just pick up where we left off here. Um, and hopefully what we'll be able to do is start adding some more shelving and and all that here soon now in the last episode we we had a, a huge order that we placed and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get everything stocked up here uh, and then we have to obviously we need to check prices so we have what we have so we're just gonna go ahead here and we're gonna fill out the rest of our shelves with uh, what we have remaining just so we know that we don't have any extra inventory it's all here ready to be sold I'll just put these over here I don't know why I was thinking I have more money than I do whoops okay so the cooler items they're gonna have to stay over here so we just don't have enough room for that right now. So let's go through and let's check our pricing. Okay, so we've made all the appropriate adjustments. Let's open up for the day here. And uh, just real quick. Uh, we got bills to pay. We can pay this one. And I'll wait to pay the other one. So here we go. I really want to get one of everything in here, but... And really, like, fully stock these shelves, but I can't really do anything yet until... We obviously start making some money. And it uh, looks like this guy's got a decent order. Hello, sir. Thank you. You have a good day there. Our store is uh, it's getting picked over here. We are going to have to really do some major stocking here uh, tomorrow at the before we can open the store for the day. So let's go ahead and take a look here. 29 customers in total. And unending uh, profit today of two hundred dollars with four hundred and seventy seven for our balance so we have a huge order so big again that it all fell over right here into the street and we'll go ahead here and we're actually gonna give the customers what they've been asking for and that's black tea so I'm gonna go ahead and stock these shelves real quick guys and uh, check the prices Wow, look at all that tea that you get. Okay, for the price point, that's not bad. We just, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead, as I said, I'm just gonna stock our, our stuff here and do a price check and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we've gone ahead and done a check on everything here for the prices and all and we're good. So we've stocked everything up. Now we have tea. 
powdered sugar, coffee, oil, pasta, cereal, bread, and flour. And our cooler is stocked with two rows of milk, a row of bottled water, cheese, and eggs. Down at the bottom here. So we're all good to go. I had to make uh, give the, the tea a price point, which is pretty much right at market value given the cost of it. And uh, the eggs had to get adjusted, and, 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 and so did the pasta. So we'll see. People wanted black tea, so I gave them black tea. Now, will they buy it is the question. There we go. I got two sales. All right. Trying to offer a little more variety here, which I think I, I basically now I have one of everything. So that's good. The problem is, is that like, I like doing this, the, the checkout stuff, but I almost feel like I want to keep everybody happy and I want to keep stocking things. So I feel like I need to maybe hire somebody and uh, that way I can focus on keeping the shelves stocked. Um, because like yesterday, the end of the day, like things got picked over and there wasn't a whole lot left. And if, and as you saw at the end of the day, there was nine, I believe it was nine customers who couldn't find what they were looking for. Trying to keep that low. So I don't know, we'll have to see what we can do. I'm really gonna have to hire somebody, I think. I want to keep everybody happy and I want to make sure that people are finding what they need and you can't you can't do that when you get a uh, a rush of people to come in without closing the store you have to basically close the store in order to be able to keep it stocked like the money's there to buy the stuff and to stock it and everything Definitely want to get another light in here. It's a little dark. Um, so yeah, this is definitely... Uh, we're going to have to really think through this, I think, because um, I don't think that this is going to be a sustainable, uh, pro a sustainable process. I think it's going to definitely require some help. I don't like how dark it is over here. Now, I moved those lights so that the shelving had lights, but uh, now I can't really see over here. So we have six customers who couldn't find what they were looking for, a total of 30 customers, 24 of them were satisfied for the day. 164 store points, $294 was our profit, and $696 was our ending balance. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's place this huge order so that we have stuff. And we don't need any additional uh, furniture yet because there's no reason to. Let's pay our bills. And it says more employees coming soon. I am not in a position yet to hire anybody. I've completed the checkout requirements, but I don't have the store level uh, needed to actually hire help so we're gonna try something today and we're gonna obviously do a quick price check and make sure we are good on our prices before we open and then if we have to if things are really starting to get picked over and we need to restock we're gonna shut the store down we're gonna be really mindful of inventory today 
because we want to get that price point or that customer satisfaction ranking up a little bit more. So that's what we're going to try to do today. It's just really going to require to be very, very mindful of the inventory so that we can hire somebody. I should just buy one of everything and just have it all stocked over there in the corner. Okay, let's take a quick inventory check here. Our pasta is almost gone. Oh, what was up here? I don't remember what was up there. Okay, we're out of that. We need pasta. Okay, so let's get pasta ordered here. Uh, there was something up there, and I don't remember what it was. And maybe, I don't know. Maybe there wasn't anything there. Was it flour? Oh, we're almost out of flour, too. Yeah, sorry, folks. I've got to get this out. Okay, so that strategy didn't work. I couldn't close the store. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to close it now. Okay, so what we're going to do really quickly, we have no cereal. We have pasta out there, which we can stock really quickly here. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That strategy didn't necessarily work, but I mean, it's the end of the day. We cost ourselves a few customers, but at the end of the day, if if people weren't complaining about not being able to find things, then I might prefer just closing the store. But we'll see what that we'll see what that stat looks like uh, when we do that. So more lighting in here. I don't like how dark it is right here. So we could probably put like one spotlight, which I'm going to put on the order. I just want one more light here. I see here they've added that you can now add, you can have a freezer and you can also have a checkout counter so you can buy another checkout counter. So let's close out the day. So we, we closed the store for just a few minutes early and you could see here, no customers looking for things they couldn't find. No short change, no nothing. 24 customers in total for the day. 148 store points. And $828 was our ending balance for the day. We have a lot of money right now, guys. A lot of money. 11.72 to end out the day here. So we have we have enough money here, I think, to now be able to maybe do something with respect to the fridge here and buy another fixture. Let's see what those cost. Again, I haven't looked. Now, again, there's fridge A and fridge B, so obviously B is going to be bigger. But I think for right now we're gonna we're gonna buy the one the smaller one for two hundred I think for right now just so we can keep things more stocked, more readily stocked. So yeah, we're gonna be spending a lot of money tomorrow. So we had six customers who couldn't find what they were looking for a total of thirty six store points one ninety six ending with three hundred eighty four dollars for our profit one thousand one seventy two is our balance which we are gonna completely wipe that out. And the bottled water has gone up in price, which we don't even have any. So we're going to go ahead here, and, and you can see pretty much we don't have to buy tea, but I'm going to buy it anyway. I'm just buying everything. We still have a good amount of cereal. I'm going to take one order of cereal off of this order.
I think that would be the best thing to do for right now. So we went ahead and made our purchase and let's just pay these, pay these bills and yikes. We are going to have a traffic problem here. So now, uh, because we are adding another cooler, uh, then that is going to basically mean now we've got another device, which is going to cost money. Looks like here I have reached the level to where I can hire a cashier now. And uh, I think that might be what we're going to have to do. Because um, I can't I can't pay attention to the store to make sure that things are adequately stocked. It's just becoming... Um, whoops. I'm over here talking. I'm not paying attention. Um, it's becoming too much. I mean, I can't even leave the cash re register to turn the lights on. We're going to hire somebody. And the daily wage... And I, I don't really, and like, I don't even care. There's a hiring cost. That's not, that's not terrible. That's fine. We're, we're going to close out the day. Four customers can find what they were looking for for a total of 35 customers, 31 satisfied. 211 store points, a profit of $148 with an ending balance of $1,277.23. Not a bad day. Let's go over here and let's hire our first employee. Hello there, sir. How are you? Are you ready to work today? All right. I uh, appreciate that you got dressed up for the occasion. We're trying to be, trying to be, um, you know, professional here and formal and whatnot. Okay, so we were able to increase our, our uh, prices on the coffee today so that's good Let's see this guy in action maybe I should be the greeter now I could just stand here hello ma'am welcome to supermarket good morning have a nice day. These people are very rude. They don't answer me. He seems to be doing a pretty good job. Well, I guess I should do my job and like pay attention to what we need. Or some over here with this mess trying to see what I have and what I don't have. We need another flower. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. Man, we got money coming in and money's going right out again because I'm having to buy stuff. Look, we've got quite a line forming here. So, you know, um, the one thing I was looking at is possibly getting another checkout counter. Uh, which we could certainly do. The problem with that, though, is I have to hire another cashier, which I believe I have to obviously get to another store level. But look at this line, guys. Look at this. Either he's really slow, or we just have that many people coming in now. All right. Close the store. You can go home, sir. Good job today. Really, I uh, think you did a great job. You look a little tired there. And we'll go ahead and close out the day here. It's a good job. Head on home for the day. We had two customers who couldn't find what they were looking for. That was my fault. One of them was coffee because we ran out. 34 customers in total, $258 profit, ending today with a balance of $1,390.
Not bad. And I'm wondering if I need to get that second checkout counter or if I should just stay as the stock person for now. Um, actually, we need milk. I completely forgot about that. Okay, and with that, that is our final customer of the day. All right, sir, let's close out the day here. How did we do? So there we go. So being the inventory management specialist that I am now at this point, because that's the role that I have taken on, we had 35 customers, no complaints, no short change. So he's doing good there. Products found to be too expensive, no. Everybody found what they were looking for, 211 store points. Ending profit, $327.54 with an ending balance uh, for the day, $1,672.37. So my observation on this so far is that having somebody be stocking shelves we've seen a turnaround of our customer ratings if you will and I think that works effectively so two days doing inventory management stocking shelves making sure that things are, are stocked and ready and available all throughout the day for everybody and we have we have two of everything for what we have licenses to sell and i added two shelves one here one here we have two coolers with items and um we're going to have to Uh, we are going to have to basically now just to, like through today and, and all that and for a couple of days sell some, you know, have, have good sale days. And then what we're going to have to do is purchase a license and then continue to offer more products to our customers. So right now, like I said, we have two of everything on the shelf for everything that we can sell two coffee, two flour, two teas, two of powdered sugar, two cereal, two bread, two pasta, and two oil. And yeah. And then over here we have our milk and our cheese, eggs, bottled water. So there you have it, guys. And we've hired help. So the plan is for the next... Uh, the next two things really of what we're going to do is we're going to expand our product offering in the next day or so, hopefully. And then what we're going to do is eventually purchase another checkout counter and we're going to have two checkout counters and two cashiers and I'll continue probably to stock shelves unless I get a, a checkout counter and I maybe play cashier for a day again. We'll see. I'm not sure how that's all going to go. Um, it really is, you know, we've, we've seen a, a jump in customers from like 30 to, you know, 20 some to, to 35. And the line is really starting to queue up pretty badly. And that's the thing of it. We're going to offer more products now. So we've really got to have somebody out here stocking shelves. And that's me because right now, if you come over to the computer, it says that there's going to be more employees added. It says that more employees are coming soon. So I don't know if that just means, I don't know if that means just for um, cashiers or if that's going to include people to stock shelves. I'm not 100% sure. So for right now, we're going to continue to do things this way. So. With all that said, guys, thank you very much for watching. 
this series on Supermarket Sim. And eventually, hopefully, we can make Supermarket, which I'm assuming we can change the name of that eventually. But for now, we're going to make Supermarket the best we can make it. So until next time, guys, my name's Chairs. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care.